Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kairos and welcome back once again to Let's Play Silent Hunter 3. Last attack was quite successful, we managed to get that tramp steamer as I recall. Uh, we are exactly where we left off last episode as always and we have two options really. Either we can go up here after this helpless convoy or we can go up here and chase after this helpless convoy. I'm pretty, pretty determined to go after them in other words. Um, but I have been thinking a little bit about what to do exactly. What I think we might do is we might try and take out the destroyer. If we can catch them again, if they haven't changed course, we might chase them down, try and take out the destroyer, and then if we can do that, we can um, pick off the remaining merchant with the deck gun, because after all, if you recall from last episode, she was not armed. So uh, she'll be a sitting duck. But we've got to catch them first. Uh, last we heard them, they were off that way. You can see there the lines. So we're just going to uh, go after them. I think we still have the... Yes, we do still have good seas, good weather, good visibility. So I'm going to take advantage of that. We're going to go ahead... Uh, f no, head flank. Might as well use that fuel, why not? And uh, see if we can catch them without getting uh, located by that very persistent destroyer. I have to say I'm impressed by that destroyer. It's been uh, doing a damn good job at keeping us at bay, considering she's all on her own up there. Uh, last episode, I was convinced at the beginning of last episode there were two destroyers because, yeah, she was giving it her all. So, uh, yeah, respect, but I'm going to put a torpedo in her nonetheless. So let's go up there and catch her, shall we? Uh, we are in position, ready for an attack. I'm just closing what little distance is left, uh, trying not to get spotted by that uh, destroyer. I'd rather be down here than up there. The visibility is just too good to risk approaching on the surface. So um, I have gone to uh, silent running. Once we get a reading of that destroyer, which is going to be around here somewhere, we'll get a sound contact soon enough. Um, how far out are they? There's still a few kilometers out. They're still 12 kilometers away, so I have little reason to rush. Let's actually slow down a little bit and just wait for them to come to us. Uh, we should be able to uh, cover this this uh, four kilometers or so pretty pretty easily, four or five kilometers. So we're just going to hover here and wait for them to come to us. Uh, meanwhile, we can probably actually prepare the torpedo in advance. So what I'm thinking of doing, what I really should have done is actually turned around and, and fired the um, tube 5, but we won't do that now. I'm in position, so what we'll do, let's have a look in here. What do we got? We've got this one Type 2 left. So we're going to be firing tube 4 at this destroyer. If we miss, we can just hope that they didn't hear or see the torpedo going, you know, past them or under them. And then we can fire one of these Type uh, Type 1s at the merchant as well. So this should work out pretty well. Uh, if if we can um, avoid being spotted or heard, this should work out very, very well indeed. So we'll set this up. I'm going to use impact on this uh, Type 2 there. Just double checking that it is actually a Type 2. Yes, it is. So we're going to set this for uh, the pistol for impact. And we're going to set depth for one and a half meters. We're just skimming the surface here because Destroyers tend to have a fairly shallow draft, and um, I have no idea uh, what destroyer that is. I'm not very good on British ships, so the chances are I'm going to uh, misidentify it. So it, it's just safer to use a impact torpedo instead of a uh, magnetic. So we'll just close the distance. Just going to take a quick squeezy peek, as we say, in my part of the world. Over there, I thought I saw the smoke earlier. Yep, I was right. That's uh, definitely what we're dealing with here. Now, of course, the problem is this destroyer might decide to kind of go active and maneuver around, which means we might miss it. But as I was saying earlier, that's going to be fine because there's the merchant over there. Um, you can see the smoke there on the horizon and the silhouette as well. So we can shoot at that uh, if we miss this one, assuming they don't notice the torpedo, of course. Now, I need to be careful I don't get spotted. We will uh, 315 her again. So you can see she's moving around there looking. Um, she's changing course now. I don't think she's seen us. She couldn't have 
possibly seen or heard us. Are we still... Um, hmm. Okay. Might slow down to one knot soon, but uh, we should be fine. Uh, I just need to try and work out what speed she's going. She's really doing circles, you can see there. This might not work out for us. Uh, if she keeps on doing that, it's going to be very difficult to estimate her speed. And, uh, of course, she'll be m wiggling all over the place, moving back and forth, so we might not be able to catch it. But that's fine. We'll just shoot at the merchant if that's the case. Uh, they seem to be still on high alert after that attack from last episode. Not that I really blame them. So. Yep. Okay. Let's stop uh, tempting fate here and uh, just listen to them in the hydrophone. Let them little get a little bit closer and then I'll, uh, I'll pre-15 them. All right, we're a little bit closer now, but a little bit concerned about this. This destroyer seems very suspicious. They're doing big, wide arcs. So I'm not sure if we're going to actually get a shot at it this time. I've gone down to one knot and uh, we might be firing uh, a little bit further out than last time because uh, with her that uh, suspicious, that active, going around in big arcs, presumably listening and pinging. Um, yeah, I'm not optimistic that we're going to uh, be able to shoot at that. But we can definitely take a shot at the merchant, assuming we don't get uh, run over. From memory, that was a small merchant or some such. Let's just flick through these until we find the one that we want. Now, last episode, that's the one. So it's a small merchant. Pretty sure. I'm almost positive that it's a small merchant. Last time I misidentified the, uh, the tramp steamer, so I need to be a bit more careful about my identification here. But that's definitely a... Um, we'll enter that for now. We'll double check later. Now, what the destroyer is, I'm not so sure. But it uh, doesn't particularly matter, seeing as we will be using an impact torpedo. So as long as we can get an accurate reading of her speed, we should be okay. Um, let's see if I can see them on the mini-map now. Yes, I can. So let's mark mark that anyway. We can get an idea. I wish she'd straighten out. I really do. Um, all right. We'll do it with this one. I'll 315 this one because that, that's a more accurate estimation. Um, but I won't bore you with that. Let's uh, just, I'll just do that and uh, we'll try and find out how quick they're going. Hopefully this will straighten up sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, I'm not optimistic. I guess we'll just have to find out. Hang on, what, what have we got there? Nope, it's one stack, single stack. I, I know what she looks like now. I've been following her long enough that I have a basic idea of her silhouette. She's got three turrets, two at the top. That could be it. JK class. She's got a single mast. She does have that tower at the back there. Mm. One and a half minutes. Could be that. No. Q and R class. They see they all look so damn similar. That's the thing. It's very difficult. Like, how can you tell those two apart? You can barely tell them except for their armament. Um, so it can be very difficult to identify warships. Uh, it looks, no. Tribal class. I think it's got to be one of those I'm just going to flick through everything here. That's two minutes. I don't see any other... These are all cruisers now. And now we're auxiliaries again, so it's got to be one of these. I think it might be a J and... A J and K class. Let's have a quick look. I'm sure somebody watching this is jumping up and down in frustration at my inability to identify what to them must seem like a fairly distinctive silhouette, but I think that's what we are dealing with here. That is undoubtedly what we're dealing with. Look at that. You can see there that thing there. I assume that's the radar or whatever, the radar mast. The funnel's the right shape and the right slant. We've got this gun at the back. That is definitely what we are dealing with. So we'll enter that. So that, that's, that has them going a little bit faster. I might set this for... Um, no, I'm going to leave it at nine. Maybe nine and a half down scope, damn it. That is bad periscope di discipline there. Uh, now, well, I suppose I could... Uh, we're out of time. It's almost upon us. So what we are going to do is we're going to set this to a little bit faster, maybe ten. Nine and a half, maybe. 
So we'll set this for nine and a half, quite close to ten knots, because she is going a little bit faster than nine knots, I think. Um, you know what? I'm just going to round it up to ten. I have a feeling that ten is what we're dealing with here. She's definitely going a little bit faster than the merchant. So we're going to round it up to ten, and uh, we're going to set the range for two thousand yards. Uh, 2,000 meters, I'm sorry. And um, we need the angle on bow right now. Up, up scope, please. I need to set that torpedo again as well. She, she's almost 90 degrees now, so I barely need to worry about that. We'll just double check. Yes, okay. Let's just do this very quickly. Very, very quickly. Yeah, she's on. This is now is the time to fire. Let's have it at 85, I think. 85 to starboard. Okay, we want to fire tube four. Let's set up this uh, torpedo quickly, 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 quickly. See, she's turning away now. So I'm not optimistic about this. I'm probably wasting my torpedo, but you never know, right? Let's set this for two meters. Uh, impact, okay. Oh, damn, she's turning around at that angle. No, I'm not firing yet. All right, well, I think it's now or never. As soon as she swings around, we're going to fire this torpedo. Let's have a look. No, I did not ask for that. Lock. We're going to aim forward a little bit. I think. Actually, just lock on that for now. What are we dealing with here? Yeah, we have to fire now. Open tube. And tube four. Loss. All right. All right, well, that's a start. We'll see what happens there. Um, we should be getting... Let's have a look at this quickly. Yeah, that's that's not looking great, is it? Look at that, look at that angle. I mean, that's, that's a pretty bad gyro angle. And um, she keeps on turning around and around. I probably should have saved that torpedo, but it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Um, it adds to the excitement of the... Uh, I hope she turns back around again, because that's... Mm. All right, well, we'll let that go, and meanwhile, we'll start setting up for an attack on this thing over here, which is much easier, going to be much easier to catch, hopefully. Yeah, we've got a little way before that... Go away. Got a little way before that uh, gets closer to us, so we'll just wait for this torpedo and see what happens, and see how the destroyer reacts as well, before we get too excited. Lock. Oh, I don't like that. Um, can she hear the torpedo, perhaps? I mean, on, in weather like this, it's entirely possible that she'll hear the torpedo coming at her. It's looking all right, actually. It's not too bad. I mean, it was always going to be a long shot, so... Hmm. Up scope. Yeah, no, she hasn't seen us. She hasn't seen us. She's just um, pottering around. Sniffing. I probably should have set it for nine knots. We might have had more luck at nine knots. So that is looking damn close. See, if I put it a little further up. No, it's going to miss. It's definitely going to miss. Unless she does a complete turn here. It is set for... At least I'm pretty sure I set it for impact. Yeah, I did set it for impact. If she keeps that turn, we might have a chance. If she keeps turning like that. We may have a chance here. That is looking damn close. I think that maybe 11. She was going 11. Oh, they missed her by the skin of my teeth. Skin of my teeth. Look at that. Just look at that. That is so frustrating. Oh, man. If we come out here, we... I don't know where she is. I can't find her now, but... Oh, that's that's annoying. That's so annoying. All right. Well, I guess I'll set up for a, uh, um, a, t a shot at this. Look at that. Straight past her. That can't be more than 50 meters. Less. That's less than the length of the ship we missed it by. 
So if anyone happens to look out there and see this fish going past, they'll be like, ah, oh, that's a funny looking fish. Of course, that's not going to leave any wake. So hopefully they didn't notice it. But we'll find out in a moment. Let's um, concentrate on setting up for an attack on this one now, shall we? Lock. We're running out of time here. Lock. Okay, I should have dropped my scope earlier. Let's get her... Um, let's clean this up. We'll get her angle on bow, first of all. Approximately. I don't like being too fiddly with that, because you wouldn't have quite so much accurate information in real life, so... Let's just do the best we can. It's about 65. Angle on bow. 65. That was almost right, actually. Speed. This one is going 9 knots. Range. I'm going to leave it to at that for now. We're not ready to fire quite yet. Um, if we can find a small merchant, which it definitely is. There we go. We can see what draft it is. Draft of... Yeah, I think I will fire a magnetic fire tube one. Uh, we'll be firing tube one, and we will be setting that for medium. Yeah, I don't want to do fast. I think fast is a little bit risky because it might we might get a premature detonation. But let's set this to what was it? Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Let's set it for eight for now. And uh, magnetic. That's all done. Let's have another. Let's slow down again. Back to one knot. Where are you? There we go. One knot. We're running out of time here. Oh dear. We are running out of time. I hope. Yep. Okay. We've got to fire now. Uh, let's check. What are we doing? Yep. That looks about right. Might actually just pull that forward just a little bit because I'm, I don't trust that. There we go. Um, okay. We get ready to fire. I'm going to check the range just quickly. That looks about right, actually, almost exactly on. Open tube one. How's the gyro angle looking? I can't tell from here. No, actually, I can there. Yeah, 10. Okay, that'll do. Tube one. Fire. Let's lower that scope for a little while. Okay, that's looking all right. It's looking all right. Maybe I've overestimated the speed just slightly. I should have gone slow because we were using a magnetic. And look, she's seen that. She's taking evasive action. Let's have a look in this. I think it's going to be a hit. We shall soon know. Oh, look at that. Broke her back straight down the center. Look at that. Brilliant. Well, I guess that uh, that would mean... Yep, you may cheer, gentlemen. Um, I guess that means that that is misidentified. That was not a small merchant. That was a split freighter. Ha, ha, ha. ha yeah, I promise I'll never do that again. I, I promise. Anyway, let's concentrate on getting the hell out of here now. Um, that's going to that's gonna go down in moments. That's... Oh, wow. I feel bad for the men on board that. Successful attack. Very nice. Shame we didn't get that destroyer, but... Well... There's nothing left for her to guard, so yeah, I guess we'll let her go. What a bloody mess. And uh, the crew, some of them did get away. As you can see, they have their boat. I don't know how they managed that. I guess they climbed on a, a, a life raft that had got off the, uh, the deck. The destroyer, of course, is not a happy chappy. It's making good speed towards the um, direction that torpedo went. And, or came from, and of course she knows exactly where we are, so we should probably crash dive if I'm being honest, but I'm going to wait until she pings us for that. I've just gone to, let's actually get a bit of speed. Come on, a bit of speed please. And we'll turn slightly away from her. I don't want to be in her bath. Uh, of course I'm giving her a full profile here, let's maybe, no, let's do this. Let's turn in that way. They won't be expecting that. And then we can actually make a a dash away from where they're dropping their depth charges. They are definitely going to drop depth charges on us, so I might rig... Oh, I already did. Yeah, I started rigging earlier for depth charges, but we'll put a few more men in here. 
Let's see, let's get some men from out of diesel engines into damage control, because I think we're going to need their help in a moment. Right, and you c weapons officer can go up here as well. Why not? All right, let's just see what happens, shall we? We're getting pinged, um, as I thought we would. So I'm going to actually turn into her, of all things. Try and give her a smaller profile. And then we're just going to make a uh, wild dash. Let's go. Crash dive. Alright, we should be able to get down pretty damn quick. And once we're past... Um, Thank you. Uh, once we're past about 100 feet, we should be fine. I think I'll stay in here for this one. We know they're up there somewhere. We know which direction they're coming from, so... How far out are you? Okay, I need to... Where are you? Okay, I'm gonna let the, the sound man do his job. There you are. Yeah, they're... they're Heading straight for us here. We let the sound, sound man do his thing. Come on, down. Don't know why they always insist on stopping it. I think the crash dive is set for 60, 65 meters. Uh, so they just stop there basically and ch and chug along at God knows how many knots. About nine knots is the max that this boat can go underwater. So, come on. Yeah, there she is. I can hear her now. All right, hold on, lads. We've been lucky so far. I think the Royal Navy has no idea what they're doing. I've got little, little concern here. Uh, what we will do, though, is we will go hard to port this time. We're down in 100. Good, let's go a little bit deeper. And... Yeah, we're turning. As soon as we start hearing bangs, I'm going to... He's off the rudder. Straight. Rudder null, please. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that's not good. Keep going down. We got rattled. Pretty good shooting, mate. Pretty good shooting. Is that all you got? Looks like it. Well, I have to say they got close with that one. Uh, let's slow down quickly to one knot. See if we can convince them that we're dead. And you guys keep di diving. We're going to go... We're going to go down to 150 now. I think they're starting to work out how uh, how we roll. Uh, Destroyer seems to be uh, improving its accuracy. Maybe I'm just imagining it, but <laughs> let's let's uh, let's assume that the crew is learning, shall we? It makes things more exciting if we assume that. Um, all right. Well, we're still rolling. That must that must have been damn close. That must have been damn close. Let's have a look here. No, still no damage. So we got lucky. All right. Well, you know the drill. I'm just going to. Stay deep, stay quiet, and evade this uh, pesky, pesky destroyer. That is quite a terrifying sight, I have to admit. Uh, she's bearing down on us pretty fast, and she's going to make her run. Uh, how she knows where we are, I don't know, but here she comes. There we go. Whoa, they went straight over our heads there. So, yeah, I think with that, I probably should... I don't know, where am I? I don't know exactly where I am, but I should probably take evasive action. Uh, yeah, let's let's do a little bit of a turn and... Do we? Yes, we do. Come on, go ahead, quickly. I don't like this. I can't go any deeper. She's not pinging us, but she just seems to be... Whoa, that's not a good sound. When we get a second bang, we'll... 
Yeah, it's not a good sound. I know we're we're at critical depth. Actually, it's worrying me that we're down that deep. I don't like the noise. I don't like the noises that we're getting. So we're gonna just pop our heads up a few meters. The boat was making some rather unpleasant noises earlier, but um, we don't have any hull damage and. This destroyer is starting to drift away from our area. It's uh, losing us, so we should be okay now. Is that all you got? Come on, peasant. I know you can do better than that. Let's see what you've got. Give us some explosions. Maybe she's running out of depth charges. I think that might be... I don't know. Is that a feature in the game? Oh, well, that's a nice-looking sunset. Uh, all right. I guess we'll just stay down here until it gets dark and uh, give this one the slip. I'm pretty uh, confident that we're going to be okay now. All right. The last rays of the sun are disappearing. Uh, it's getting dark real fast. And this destroyer is rather forlornly giving up the chase and making her way back in the direction that she was going. I don't think we'll be seeing her again. Uh, she made a valiant attempt at uh, defending that small convoy, but... She definitely failed in her duty there, unfortunately. That was presumably a fairly important convoy. I mean, it seems strange that they would devote one fairly decently sized destroyer to guarding only two small ships. So maybe it was carrying VIPs or something. I guess, I guess we can only wonder. But yes, this is the last we'll be seeing of this pesky destroyer. Uh, I was very lucky I didn't get damaged or destroyed by that one, so I respect my enemy. She's certainly put her um, best foot forward, as it were, but she'll be heading back off to, uh, I suppose, be reprimanded for, well, failing dismally at her duties. So anyway, I feel kind of bad for her, but off she goes, uh, and we are going to stay down below until it gets very dark, and then we'll pop our heads up and... and uh, think about where we're going next, but I'm going to call the episode to a halt here. Uh, as always, thank you very much for viewing. This has been Kairos, and I'll see you all in the next episode.